Hi, this is Rabbi Gershon Litt, Commodore Levy Chapel, Naval Station, Norfolk. This week's Torah portion is Parshas Beshalach. And in this week's Torah portion is one of the more famous things that happens in the entire Torah, the splitting of the sea. We call this special Shabbos, Shabbos Shira, the Sabbath of song. Why is it so special? It's so special that if you opened up a Torah scroll, you would actually see the text different than the rest of the Torah itself. Very few times does the text itself give us clues as to the special nature of the text and what it's trying to teach us. So what's so special about this song? In this week's Torah portion, we see the end, the true end of the slavery. The Jewish people were slaves in Egypt for 210 years. They endured. They had horrible things happen to them from taskmasters, from Egyptian society, from Pharaoh himself. And now they're free. They left Egypt. But before they left Egypt, we all know the story. We've read the book, seen the movie. We know that there were 10 plagues when the Jewish people were in Egypt. And so the Jews, who for 210 years had not understood what God was, didn't really think about what this was going to look like, what their ethical teachings really were. They were holding on by a thread to their heritage. But then God works incredible wonders and miracles. And these 10 plagues occur. And the Jewish people, one by one by one, one plague by the next plague by the next plague, were inspired and saw the hand of God. And then they came to the sea. And yet again, the Jewish people said, that we come here just to die here? Let's go back to Egypt. As the Egyptians themselves came right behind them, but God comes and stops them miraculously with a pillar of fire, stops the Egyptians. And the Jewish people turn around and go, what are we going to do now? And then we all know what happened next. The Jewish people, out of despair, simply didn't know which way to turn or what to do. Yet there was a man named Nachshom ben Aminadav who jumped into the water and said, let's go. You must have faith. You must understand that just like God has gotten you this far, he will get us the rest of the way. And sure enough, as Nachshon jumps into the water, the water comes all the way up to his nose and then the water splits. And the Jewish people walk through dry land to the other side. As the pillar of fire vanishes, Pharaoh gets inspired and says, we can still get them. Forget all these miracles. Let's go get our slaves back. And they march and they ride into the same ocean, the same sea that the Jews walked through just moments prior. Yet something different happened. At this point, the Jewish people came to the other side of the sea. And the Mitzrim, the Egyptians, were chasing them on their chariots. And then the sea collapsed and fell and drowned the Egyptians. At that point, the Jewish people burst into song, all singing the same song, all recognizing the greatness and the power of that moment, understanding instantaneously what they had all been through. And now, where they were headed, because they are now following a God that will be with them and help them hold their hand, so to speak, and guarantee their safety. Until now, it was not clear. The Jewish people were not sure what they had been seeing for all that time during the plagues, but now they knew, and they sang. They sang Shira, this very special song. The only time this happens in the Torah where the entire Jewish people stand together and sing one song in unity. I had a rabbi once named Rabbi Nachman Bullman. Rabbi Bullman taught us that song is very powerful. It touches us in ways we can't even begin to fathom. Music gets into our soul and it brings out the true nature of what we're feeling. The Jewish people use song. They use this power to be able to sing out and be able to unify themselves around the idea of the greatness of God. When people are unified, they're unstoppable. Right after this, 
they go to war. This cowardly nation named Amalek, this evil nation comes and attacks the back, the women and children of the Jewish people, but now they had faith. Now they knew. Moses, Moshe Rabbeinu stands up, his arms held high, and the Jewish people fight, and they win. At the very end of this week's Torah portion, we're told, remember who these people were, these Amalekites, these evil people. Remember them. Don't forget about it. Don't forget about your history. Don't forget about where you've been. Because if you forget about where you've been, then it's bound to happen again. So let us get inspired by the Shira to take who we've been, what we've endured, things that have happened into our life and takes them, take them to the next level. Be inspired to sing harmoniously to success. And if we can do that, then truly the Shira will be an inspiration to help us move forward into amazing times with unity and solidarity with God. Good Shabbos.